So, Hallie, you uh, you share an office with Elliot. Yes. Which is to the point because... Uh, what point? Uh, you know, you may think that you're here to talk about a bad movie, but actually I brought you here to tell embarrassing stories about what it's like to share an office with Elliot. Uh, when he's eating barbecue, he asked me if it's okay if he takes his shirt off because he doesn't want to get <laughs> stains on his shirt. But I, I wear an undershirt. It's not like I'm sitting in my office naked from the waist up eating barbecue. <laughs> One time he farted and he said, excuse me, I farted. I didn't think it would smell this bad. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember that. It happened. <laughs> and okay. they have a big party at the zoo. And also- I hear that it's all happening at the zoo. Now, I do believe it. I do believe that's true. <laughs> It's a, it's a it's a it's a it's a joke about a Paul Simon. Yeah, you can't see, but I'm glaring at Dan right now. <laughs> Dan likes to state the lyrics of songs <laughs> as if that's a joke. <laughs> and I do it too, but when I do it, I don't get mad at myself. Okay. <laughs> that's the main difference because I'm a hypocrite. <laughs> and all the animals talk in like sassy ways, like they're all really sassy. But so like the bears, they're all basically just trying to imitate black people. Yeah, basically. <laughs> and it could be, as I was saying when we were watching the movie, it could be seen as kind of racist that the animals all have these very ethnic accents. And it's like, yep, ethnic people are like animals and white people like Kevin James are humans. Mm-hmm. But uh, And the ethnic people are just there to help the whites. <laughs> yeah, it's like, it, you know, it's like, Matt, you know, Bagger Vance or something. You know, I don't want to, I don't want to, uh, Hallie, I don't want to, uh, you know, let you into the creepy male mind too much. You mean the creepy pervasoid one? Damn but you know, mind. a uniform is is a is a fetish object for a gentleman seeing a pretty attractive woman. Oh sure. Like, you know, it's not like you're not like, oh gross, oh uh, blue collar work or something. <laughs> like you're like, oh okay, yeah, yeah, it's some sort of uh, regimented. You should know, Hallie. Dan is pervasoid number one and talks <laughs> openly about his fetishes on the, in the podcast. I Look. heard Dan makes his wife dress up in a zookeeper's uniform. <laughs> they, have a, they have a sex game called Feeding Time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Take my temperature, it's called. But anyway. Uh, oh, oh, God. I don't like that. Oh, <laughs> Too much. And she serves him a pail of wet apples. <laughs> <laughs> she gives him a tire swing. <laughs> and she's like, hey, buddy, you like this? <laughs> she shoots him with a trank dart. <laughs> And then undresses him. <laughs> she hits him with a stick that has a nail on the end, <laughs> which brings us to an important plot detail. Okay, let's explain. <laughs> There's a gorilla that lives in a basement. Why? Apparently, everyone thinks he attacked his keeper. Donnie. No. Donnie Wahlberg, it turns out, has a stick with a nail on it. <laughs> a stick with a nail on it that he pokes the animals with. He pokes the animals with. <laughs> it's, like, it's amazing. It's like that Simpsons episode. It's like, I have a board with a nail on it. <laughs> uh, the lion tells him on the phone... <laughs> That he should alternate being a jerk or a nice guy to Leslie Bibb. Mm-hmm. I missed that scene. I thought he was really just acting crazy. No, the lion told him to do that. Oh, okay. So he does that. He does act crazy. He comes off as a total asshole, but Leslie Bibb loves it. He just he starts changing into a different person. Yeah, but that's the thing. It's less the secret and more like he's just like an erratic sort of drug addict all of a sudden or something. Yeah, he suddenly starts insulting everybody. <laughs> he changes his personality from moment to moment. He says things that don't make sense. Uh, I watched uh, Red State recently. Uh, I'm not necessarily at this point, late date a Kevin Smith fan because I think that um, – He's too good. He's gotten, I mean, he was always lazy and he's gotten lazier. Wait, the man who does public appearances in a bathrobe is too lazy? <laughs> but uh, Red State is actually actually the uh, best directed, I think, of all of his movies. It's very interesting. Faint praise. So at this point, Kevin James has become insane and is very erratic and talks in a weird way and dresses in like a black suit. And we were saying that while we were watching it, like, they must have cut out a scene where he's just sniffing he's just snorting so much coke up his yeah, nose rails of coke he basically turns into a coke addict like yeah and every scene after that is kevin james being crazy <clears throat> i think it was the onion that that said this movie might be about a zookeeper who loses his mind and thinks <laughs> animals are talking to him <laughs> then uh the gorilla climbs up the side of this bridge with kevin james on his back and again it's just like rise of the planet of the apes where the gorilla is going to be on a bridge and you're like no gorilla you're gonna die this is terrible mm-hmm. uh, you're, gonna, you're gonna try and you're gonna take down a helicopter but <laughs> It's going to be awesome, trust me, but you shouldn't do it. Uh, you know what? You've got so much potential, but the, really, zoo, the zoo thing? <laughs> you really got to put that zookeeper job behind you, that job yeah. that I'm pretty sure you need to study like at some sort of veterinary school. <laughs> to, yeah, like, like there's one day when they're hanging out and – and he's and she's like, I really want you to come to my fashion show tomorrow during the middle of the day. It's really important to me. 
And like any normal human being, he's like, oh, I've got work at the zoo. And she gets really upset. And she's like, <laughs> you and the zoo thing. I thought you were past it. It's like, it's a fucking job, lady. <laughs> like, I have to make money. <laughs> and uh, and then- court, like oh, that a woman hates hates going out with a guy whose job allows her to see animals up close. Like, <laughs> or, yeah. or that she's shocked that he has a day job that he has to go to <laughs> regularly. <laughs>